<clears throat> As I was saying, after many crossings of the Bright Circle, great herds began to appear on the land. The long necks, the spike tails, the three horns. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Dana, Dana. Tweety horns. Uh -huh. Hush, you two, or Auntie Sarah's going to be upset. Oh, Auntie Sarah. Well. <laughs> All right, children. What happened then, Grandpa? Some of these herds, in their migrations across the land, found the most fertile, beautiful place in the world. The Great Valley! Yes, and life in the Great Valley was good. Until one day, the Sharp Tooth came. Just any sharp tooth, but the biggest, meanest, most ferocious sharp tooth ever. But then, just when the long necks thought all was lost, the lone dinosaur appeared on the horizon. The who? The what? The lone dinosaur. But what is a lone... Shh! <laughs> the battle seemed to last for hours. It was a spectacle no one had ever seen before. A lone leaf eater taking on a sharp tooth. And just as suddenly as he had appeared, the lone dinosaur went away. Oh. That's it? He just leave? Nobody ever saw him again? Well, legend has it that not long after the defeat of the Sharptooth... Earthshake! So they called it Saurus Rock. And it's there to this very day. Sometimes, when the wind is just right and blows away the mists, you can see it. Watching over the Great Valley, just like the lone dinosaur did so many years ago. They say 
If you look very closely, you can see the circle of teeth around its neck. Real teeth? The story goes that they came from the very sharp tooth the lone dinosaur defeated. Ooh. <laughs> they say that some nights you can see the ghost of that sharp tooth wandering around looking for his teeth. <gasps> Well, I've never heard that part of the legend, but they do say that if anything ever happens to Saurus Rock, bad luck will descend upon the Great Valley. Is it all true, Grandpa? Well, it's a grand adventure and a, a really good story. And it is nice to think that somewhere out there is a lone dinosaur watching over us all. Grandpa Longneck. Are you filling these children's heads full of nonsense? And just before bedtime? Why, no, I was... I was... I, I was... Um... Yes, I know. But it's late. Time for little ones to be in the nest. Resting for another day.